Hello, everyone. So I am excited to share three tips for getting results better than you could imagine. For years, I've talked about how to get results you desire with happiness and joy. And I want to take things to the next level and talk about results even better than you hope for. So I also have some exciting news to share after I share these tips, but let's start with the tips. First of all, there's more than three ways to get results better than you imagine, but I love these. These are my favorite. I feel like if you get these down, it's really helpful. Tip number one is to let go of fog, fear, obligation, and guilt. And whenever I do this, I know I show up in a much more powerful way, in a way where I can achieve results better than I could imagine. Because I'm not acting from a place of wondering or doubting myself or from a place of playing small, which is what happens when we're coming from a place of fear, obligation, and guilt. So that's tip number one. Do not come from fog. Then you can act as your best self, radiating your truth. So let's move on to tip number two. You're going to want to detach from the outcome. And I know that could sound counterintuitive. We're talking about getting results better than you can imagine. And for many high achieving clients, they know how to get results. That's who I usually work with. I know they know how to set goals and go for it and achieve them. So that's great. And it's good to have goals. It's very important. They provide a sense of inspiration, a sense of direction, and a sense of purpose. And it really helps you to know where to channel your efforts. But when you get too attached to a certain outcome, you can also have tunnel vision and miss out on something better than you could imagine. So let's say you're going for that certain job you wanted and you just end up putting a tight grip on the one opportunity, there might be another opportunity that's even better for you. And you lose sight of it if you're just focused on your career looking a certain way. Again, it's important to have clear goals and put effort where you desire, but be open and don't have such a tight grip on what the result should look like personally or professionally. So moving on to tip number three, and that is to really start trusting yourself, which can be easier said than done, especially when we're going for maybe a stretch goal or something different or beyond what we're typically used to doing. But when you start trusting yourself, you really expand possibilities for your life. And I want to share a provocative view on trust and what I mean by trust. It's not just about trusting, let's say, you'll do everything perfectly or everything right. It's about trusting that no matter what happens, you'll be okay. Again, a little bit easier said than done, but there are other tips and tools I can support you with that are out there for you where it could help you just really learn how to trust that no matter what happens, you'll be okay. With that kind of energy, you really do exude a different attitude and open yourself up for possibilities. I also wanted to let you know that if these tips were helpful, I'm having an event on May 19th, it's virtual, and we'll talk more about how to get results better than you can imagine. And I'll actually share a pathway and a formula on how to do it. So please join me if you can. I'm going to put the uh, actual link in the comments below so you have access to that as well. So with that, thanks so much.